Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what's coming up for you for love, romance, and relationships. It is going to be a general reading, and there's also going to be a part two to this reading, which is going to be made via the extension link below. Um, for those of you that are also interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, get the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Okay. Okay, we see that there's the spotlight being shown on you here, especially with the Empress energy. Okay, this is how you're coming across to a lot of people. Extremely attractive, uh, very confident, um, very sure of yourself, very assertive. Just a very beautiful, loving energy here. People um, see you as someone who's very genuine, um, someone who's very kind. They're especially... More so than before, um, it just feels like they're especially attracted to you and your energy. And you're especially coming across uh, as very attractive here. It could have something to do with the fact that maybe you've, build, you've been building a better relationship with yourself here, guys. Uh, maybe you've really, uh, you know, you spent some time here to be intentionally single, um, getting to know yourself, getting to know your worth, what it is that you deserve, what it is that you tolerate here. Um... It definitely feels like you're in a good place here and people are responding to that energy, okay? People are responding to the energy and the vibe that you're giving off. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing for you, there's going to be a lot of rebalancing of relationships, a lot of rebalancing of energies as well. Lean into this vibe, lean into this Empress energy, lean into this vibe because I see that a lot of people, because of the vibrational energy and frequency that you're putting out, a lot of people are responding to that energy very positively. And what that's doing is that's welcoming and inviting new, you know, it's creating space for new romantic energies, it's creating space for new relationships to flourish and thrive. Um, it's also... You know, you're sort of redefining your priorities and you're prioritizing yourself, your happiness here. So I feel like you're, some of you are already in this space. So lean into this energy a little bit more. Others, you're going to be ta uh, taking uh, steps towards this kind of energy. Your love life, your romantic uh, relationships here, your connections here are looking very favorable. And... I'm seeing some sort of trigger for some of you. I feel like there's some sort of, uh, something might trigger a sudden insight into your love life. And I don't know if this has had something to do with the journey that you've been on lately, a journey of healing, wellness, a journey of self-discovery and getting to know yourself better, getting to know, you know, your self-worth here. But I do see something being, you know, this week, this week, this month, or the next couple of weeks or months, you're going to realize that the path of love that you've, you know, set yourself on is not easy. But a lot of you are going to, you know, realize 
that some of you, you've been giving too much of yourself away when it comes to love and when it comes to relationships, okay? And what's happening now, a lot of you have come to this realization that it's time to start taking some of it back or it's time to rather start receiving, okay? Relationships are going to be, re, you know, the dynamic of relationships and energies are going to be rebalanced here. So for you, it's time to start receiving because I see that the world he wants to, the world and the universe wants to present you with a lot of possibilities and a lot of opportunities, some of which include perhaps um, a new chapter in your life, okay? Some include new romantic energies. Some include the opportunity to reconcile uh, relationships uh, with maybe past or former flames here. Um, and some doesn't necessarily require that, you know, there is a new romantic energy who's going to step into your life, uh, but there is a lot more self-love. So instead of giving that love and attention and the energy towards someone else, you're putting it, uh, you're investing it into yourself. Some of you are going to be falling in love with someone very sweet, very nice, very charming. Um, and I'm seeing that there are a lot of opportunities for you that are indicated in the upcoming months, especially for romance. Uh, it is going to... This one feels a little different. For some of you, after some darker periods here, you're entering a cycle or a chapter in your life where you're ready to make a lot of changes, okay? You're ready to stop doing things that were no longer working for you. You're ready to, um, you know, do, try and do things a little bit differently. You're ready to, uh, you're opening up and you're allowing yourself to receive instead of always giving so much of yourself away. You're also very hopeful about what is to come because, again, I feel like it's the energy that you're putting out there, okay? And... You're also quite receptive. See, your energy frequency feels like it's responding to the blessings and to the abundance that the universe is uh, flowing towards you. I'm also seeing that you're receiving what you deserve. So all your good karma, all your hard work, all the love that you have given away to various people over the years, all of that is coming back your way. It may be in the form of a new love, okay? It may be in the form of an old former flame who comes back re-energized as new. It could be a new romantic chapter that unfolds for you, which could lead to an engagement, a wedding, or a marriage of some sort, moving in together, children. Um, it could be a proposal or a love offer. It might have something to do outside of romance, something that you're very passionate about, a dream or a goal that is finally realized, fulfilled, and manifested here. I'm also seeing that you're ready to speak your truth as well with the Queen of uh, Swords energy. The thing is, I feel like there's a magical light that is being shown in your life, in particular in the areas of your love life and in your career or your dreams. You're finally, I think you're finally seeing things a little bit different. You're finally ready to see, and you're seeing things different, your perception is changing, your perception is shifting, and because of that, I feel like you are starting to identify or see opportunities that you otherwise wouldn't have before. I also feel like there is something, now is like a really perfect time for you to grow and expand on your energies, okay? Because you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of new starts, you've got a lot of new energies, you've got a lot of new beginnings that the cards are indicating for you, okay? Um, where you are at right now feels like you're on your true path or you're very close. Some of you, you might have gotten off track, you might have hit a bit of a detour, you might have experienced some delays or setbacks, but even those delays or setbacks in itself, even those were a blessing, because they made you pause, they made you reflect, they made you think about, you know, what was working, what wasn't working here. So I'm really seeing that you're standing in your worth, and you're ready to start receiving all the blessings that you truly do deserve here guys now's the perfect time for love to grow and it can be self-love okay which is what's been happening for a lot of you lately it can be romantic love uh sibling love here uh, but for a lot of you there's a lot of growth that's happening in your energy a lot of fresh start fresh start with new people uh, new romantic energies maybe even fresh start with past flames Love opportunities are definitely coming your way. 
And I think you're going to surprise yourself. I see that you're going to surprise yourself with some of the choices that you're going to be making. Or some of the decisions that you're going to be choosing. I'm also seeing that there's a romantic renewal for some of you. Okay, so a romantic renewal with a love. Um, I also see that you're setting a pattern for yourself that is bringing you closer to someone or that is bringing you closer to a dream or a goal that you harbor and you desire here. So we're going to continue on in part two of the reading to see what um, other beautiful blessings and abundance are coming your way because to me it feels like you're on the right path. You have gone through some darker times, okay? You have gone through some sort of turbulency here, guys, but you truly deserve all the blessings and abundance that is coming your way. You truly deserve the happiness that you have been chasing, okay? So follow me to part two of the reading, which is made by the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire. And please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.